I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, which in Hebrew are the wonderful names of the Creator, our Heavenly Father, I Am, which this world has named God, and His beloved anointed Son, which this world has named Jesus. I give honor, respect, and thanks to all the true, faithful, and sincere apostles, elders, prophets, and torchbearers of the nation of Israel, who have willingly endured and risked much to bring forth the truth. Thank you, brothers. In this chapter, we are beginning the conversation of darkness creeps. The darkness of the wicked, the unrighteous, and the unrepentant. This, as always, is a message to our brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel, the mighty nation of Israel being the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latins, Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans. Darkness is creeping into every single place upon this earth today. And you are either for it or you are against it the first scripture we're going to in this chapter is the book of ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 for we the israelites specifically today the one-third of the nation of israel who are turned unto the father in truth and in sincerity through the Son. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So this is a warning that one, we are in a battle a battle that was begun in the womb of our foremother, Rebecca. A battle between two nations, two manner of people. They have rulership today and thus have been granted power. And they rule over the darkness of this world. Remember, world means time frame, age, span of time. And we are battling against spiritual wickedness in high places, in the highest levels of governance, where the laws are made, but also where culture is influenced where culture is influenced against spiritual wickedness in high places. Log, Stardate 3901. It's the prequel to fan favorite Toy Story. Disney Pixar's new movie Lightyear is the origin story of Buzz Lightyear, the hero who inspired the toy. But the movie, which critics expect to be a hit, won't be seen by millions after more than a dozen countries decided to ban it from movie theaters. Among them, the United Arab Emirates saying in a tweet that Lightyear violates the country's media content standards. The reason? A brief kiss between a female space ranger and her wife. Yeah, it's frustrating. I mean, we, we've dealt with that with Marvel, and, uh, you know, it, it feels good to be a part of something that is making social progress, but it's, uh, it's with this ribbon of uh, bittersweet frustration that at the same time there are still places that have not caught up. Other countries such as Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Indonesia, and Malaysia have also banned the film. And a source at Disney says Lightyear is unlikely to open in China, the world's largest movie market. We haven't heard from China. I'm assuming that it will not make it through China. They, I know that we've gotten requests for things to cut. Um, Disney isn't going to modify the material. We're not going to cut out anything. 
Last month, Disney also refused requests to cut same-sex references in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, leading to that movie being banned in several countries. To infinity and beyond. So that we have a common understanding, let's look at the definition of the word darkness. Darkness, of night darkness, of darkened eyesight or blindness, metaphorically, of ignorance, respecting divine things and human duties, and the accompanying ungodliness and immorality, together with their consequent misery in hell. Persons in whom darkness becomes visible and holds sway of ignorance respecting divine things and human duties and the accompanying ungodliness and immorality together with their consequent misery in hell for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So these uh, executives said, no, this is what we're putting out in the earth. This is what we want everyone on the earth to see. And many nations said, no, no thank you. The book of the prophet Obadiah Chapter 1, verse 1, the vision of Obadiah. Thus saith Yahweh, the Most High Power, concerning Edom. Edom are the descendants of Esau. Esau was born red and hairy all over. He is the forefather of the so-called white nation. Esau, Edom, Idumea, Mount Seir. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith Yahweh the Most High Power concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Verse 2, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. So many nations said, hey man, we don't want that. That darkness that you're uh, working really hard to spread across the entire earth. Yeah, we don't want that here, particularly for our children. Particularly for our children. We're going to stand against this particular form of darkness creeping towards our children. So that we would understand where we are and who we are dealing with. The Father works with those who are willing to hear and willing to see. He works with us through signs. And how do we know about the signs? Through prophecy. The second book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So, in the latter times, which we find ourselves in, many people will fall away from the truth because that darkness has crept into their thoughts, into their heart, and they have accepted it or been seduced by it but more importantly, they did not defend against it. They did not defend their spirits and their souls against it. So many would fall away. But that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. So let's look at that word perdition for common understanding. Destroying. Utter destruction. A perishing, ruin, destruction. The destruction which consists of eternal misery in hell. Destruction, waste, damnable, to die, perish. 
damnable nation. Destruction, die, perdition, perish, pernicious ways, waste. So again, there are only two. And there is a nation that has been given dominion upon this earth. But when their dominion is over, they are going to be in the condition of hell. They are going to be in the condition of hell. So we would know that the return of our anointed Yahweh Shai uh, is on the way when this son of perdition is revealed. So there's no question where the darkness is emanating from this darkness that is creeping throughout the earth there's no question of who it's emanating from they are standing proudly by their pride they are standing proudly by their pride but know that if you stand with them they are the sons and daughters of perdition of destruction they bring destruction and they shall be destroyed the first book of saint john chapter 3 verse 7 little children let no man deceive you he that doeth righteousness is righteous even as he is righteous so little children of the nation of israel the nation of Israel being one of the nations involved in this struggle. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. If we do righteousness, it's because we're turned unto our Father, Yahweh, the Most High Power, the Creator of heaven and earth, the Creator of all things, the Creator and Destroyer. We are turned unto him in truth and in sincerity through Yahushai, our King of Kings, our Lord of Lords. And we are there because the Father has blessed us with mercy that we might have wisdom. And if we have wisdom, then the Father dwells in the Son and the Son dwells in us, even as he is righteous. Verse eight, he that committeth sin is of the devil. Esau, Edom, Idumia. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of the Most High Power was manifested, Yahushai, that he might destroy the works of the devil, bringing light into this world. Bringing light into this world so that we could walk the path back to our Father. The son of perdition, uh, those damned to the misery of hell, to understand what we, as the nation of Israel, endured while we were in hell and still are in hell until this last of our last captivity is completed. He that leadeth into captivity must go into captivity he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword so as we are here and this darkness is really creeping through the whole earth we have our father to call upon the book of psalms chapter 144 verse 7 send thine hand from above Rid me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children. This is who we are in the hands of today. Strange children. Strange because the Father is not dealing with them directly. Strange because they fear no one. They fear no one. That primary basic part of wisdom is not in them verse 8 whose mouth speaketh vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood so they're showing 
uh, women with wives, men with husbands. They're showing all these things to children. And not just to their children, they want to show it to everyone's children. And tell you that it's okay because they've made the laws to make it such. Verse 11, rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. So that right hand are their uh, princes and uh, princesses, those who are the captains of industry, those who have power in the streams of media and uh, the choices of what content uh, we're watching. You know, it's interesting. I uh, was having a conversation with uh, a woman who works as a librarian at a middle school. And I said, well, what are the things that they're asking for today? She said, surprisingly, a lot of young kids are coming in and they were like, do you have any horror books and books about people dying? Because that's all they're being fed is death and murder and mayhem and confusion. Everything that is contrary. Everything that is contrary. Verse 12, that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace. So our hope as the nation of Israel is that our sons and our daughters may flourish in the righteousness of our father through his son, that we may be highly polished and acceptable to be looked upon by our creator, that we, go, that we grow strong in the truth, in humility and in righteousness. But since we are not in our kingdom, we struggle. We struggle with the wicked. We struggle with the wicked. The destruction of the wicked is going to be severe because they have, the wicked have turned their back uh, on the Father, but they've also turned their back on the Son. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 19, verse 14, But Yahushai said, Suffer little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of the Most High power. So, with accepting this darkness and allowing the darkness to creep into the hearts, the minds of your children, you are forbidding them from coming unto our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords, our Savior, who leads us back to the Father. Because He is the light. He gave His life for the salvation of the one-third of the nation of Israel. We have to be willing to defend against this darkness and not accept it. The book of Psalms, chapter 14, verse 1. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no most high power. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. So these are uh, the children of the devil. And, the, and those that follow the devil. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. Verse 2, Yahweh looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek the most high power. This is how you defend against the darkness that creeps upon this earth. You seek the Father through the Son. Verse 3, they are all gone aside, they are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. So many are unwilling 
to be uncomfortable. And yet Yahweh Shai was incredibly uncomfortable on that cross, on that tree. Or we are on the battlefield and the Father is watching. The book of Psalms, chapter 53, verse 2. The Most High Power looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that did seek the Most High Power. This is how you combat the darkness. You seek the light. You seek the truth. You seek wisdom. You seek immortality. You seek health. You seek sanity. <laughs> Sanity. There was uh, an article I was reading that said there is no uh, DNA test or some test that could one hundred that could one hundred percent prove gender. They have really lost their minds here. Just lost their minds. The book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 14. The book of Sirach can be found in the Apocrypha, which is the middle book of the King James 1611 Bible. Sirach is also called Ecclesiasticus. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of Yahweh. Verse 15, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law are of Yahweh. Love and the way of good works are from him. So, the commandments, the statutes, and the laws were given unto the nation of Israel, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name being changed to Israel. The lineage has now moved down to uh, the house of David. So we are currently the house of King David because that was the last promise made was under King David. That was given unto us by the Father. This last wicked kingdom given unto uh, Esau, Edom, Idumea, Mount Seir, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of Yahweh. So they had a blessing to be in rulership and to show who they are in rulership and they are showing you who they are in rulership second book of Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 they're showing you who they are they are the damned they're in rulership and all they bring is destruction verse 16 error and darkness had their beginning together with sinners and evil shall wax old with them that glory therein it's who they are it's who they are they have a chance right now to at least try and make things right and instead they're doubling down on their elitism they're allowing people to starve and be homeless and be drug addicts they are just pouring out abomination left and right left and right left and right and they're going to be who they are until the end. So we can follow Yahweh Shai, our King of Kings, our Lord of Lords, our Savior, who was born of the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, of King David, or you can follow the descendants of Esau, who are the rulers of this last wicked kingdom. You can do one of the two. This is the struggle. There is real darkness creeping upon this earth. Returning to the book of Sirach, now chapter 10, verse 13. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore Yahweh brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Pride is the beginning of sin. 
pride is turning your back upon the Father, walking away from his commandments, his statutes, his laws, taking what he has created and destroying it. Destroying it. Does it seem like a coincidence to you that while the devil, the rulers of this last wicked kingdom are in power, they have done everything in their power to destroy the water, the air, and the food? Do you think it's a coincidence? There is a hatred for the Most High Power. And whatever He has created, they are adverse to it. That is the spirit of Satan. They are adverse to it. They are against it. They are opposed to it. The book of the prophet Job, chapter 15, verse 20. The wicked man travaileth with pain all his days because they know their elites know that they are not the chosen nation. They are not the chosen child. They know that their forefather threw away the birthright as if it was nothing, even though the father had already chosen the nation of Israel through Jacob. The wicked man travaileth with pain all his days, and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor. They don't know when it's coming to a complete end. They don't know. They had an idea of how long they would uh, be unchecked. But now that they don't know, because of all of these spirits of vengeance that are upon the earth. Verse 21, a dreadful sound is in his ears. In prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. That dreadful sound today is the sound of this word, this living water, this fire being spoken by the modern day prophets, the brothers who are out on the street at camp, the brothers who are giving classes and the brothers who are online speaking this word in truth and in sincerity. It's a dreadful sound. Light is exposing this darkness and they can't hide. And they're watching their power being diminished because the Father is in control of all things. In prosperity, in the full bloom of who they are and who they are working to be, in prosperity, the destroyer, which is Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai shall come upon him. Verse 22, he believeth not that he shall return out of darkness, and he is waited for of the sword. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Verse 25, for he stretcheth out his hand against the most high power. You have to understand that level of pride to believe that you can go against the one true living most high power. That you can mock and blaspheme and abuse his children and go unpunished. For he stretcheth out his hand against the most high power and strengtheneth himself against the almighty. He really thinks he can fight Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. He really thinks he's able and prepared to fight Yahweh Shai in the heavenly host. While the one third of the nation of Israel wait upon Yahweh Shai and the heavenly host in quiet perseverance, the other nation is preparing to do battle with one who has been given full authority in heaven and in earth. This is the struggle. This is the struggle. And for many uh, of those who are not of the nation of Israel, they really have been taught that they can be spiritually grafted in. 
the book of Psalms, chapter 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Esau, Edom, Idumea, Mount Seir. Esau, the father of the Edomites. From the womb. Estranged from the Most High Power. From his commandments, statutes, and laws. Estranged from righteousness. A vagabond walking the earth. The only reason that Esau has what they have today is through the blessing of our forefather Isaac. That's it. It's the only reason. If it wasn't for that blessing, they'd have nothing. For those who are finding their way back to the truth, which for many is a difficult truth, but it is the truth nonetheless. It's time to really put your shield up uh, over yourself and your loved ones who are in the truth as well. To really pay attention and know that in all aspects, darkness creeps upon this earth and is looking for ways into your heart, into your mind. And we were told not to touch the unclean thing. So one way you can do that is to really start thinking, what am I allowing into my heart? What am I truly allowing into my heart through radio, through television, through films, and through social media? What am I allowing into my heart from one a nation who I am struggling against spiritually it's a spiritual struggle would you uh, eat everything an adversary of yours or an opponent of yours gave you to eat or drink? Would you eat all of it? Would you drink all of it? Would you eat any of it? Would you drink any of it? The second book of Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Really have to start understanding this. The serpent was the most subtle beast of the field that the Father created. And the darkness creeps. Little by little by little by little by little. But look how far they've come. So where do you want to go from here? If you are unequally yoked with them, you get what they have coming to them. The last scripture we're going to in this chapter is the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Verse 12, for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. So if they are revealing themselves, the son of perdition, the sons and daughters of perdition, the sons and daughters of perdition, if they are revealing themselves today in this way, imagine what is being done behind closed doors that they want you to partake of as well that they absolutely want you to partake of as well so that they can destroy you because you're the fathers. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. The Father told us to be uh, physically fruitful and multiplying and also spiritually to be fruitful, to bring forth good works. But the unfruitful works, there's no place in the Father's 
uh, in the Father's kingdom for that. There's no place for unfruitful works because it is uh, centered on serving yourself in this flesh. But rather reprove them. Let them know this is not, if you're an Israelite, this is not okay. This is not okay. If you allow your child to be turned over to the other utter wickedness of this last wicked kingdom, it's the same as offering your child to Moloch spiritually. You're, you're sacrificing your child. You're spiritually sacrificing your child. We really have to be on guard and we have to also remember that this is uh, this is the twos, the year of the six, and they are pulling out the stops. They are pulling out the stops. The father is in control of all things, but you know, at the end of the day, it is who do you stand for? Who do you stand for? Who do you stand for? And no matter how powerful uh, Esau and this last wicked kingdom seem, Jacob, the nation of Israel, is the victor in the end. Make no mistake about it. World War III and the nuclear destruction of America are coming. It will coincide exactly with the return of our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior, High Priest and Brother, Yahweh Shai. Thus saith Yahweh. Philippians 2, 9-11 through 11. Wherefore Yahweh also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh Shai every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord, to the glory of Yahweh the Father. As it is written, Thus saith Yahweh, and nothing can stop it. This is a final warning, Israel. Shake off this world. Remember who you are and come home. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.